Hi there, on today's Top Tip Tuesday, we're getting in the festive mood and I'm going to show you how we can render and light this amazing particle glitter effect. Now we're going to do it in the context of this particle reveal, but this glittering particle effect can be used in any of your particle sims. We're going to be rendering this in Redshift and it's going to look fantastic. So let's jump in. In our scene then we have this particle text animation, exactly the same technique as we explored last week. This time we've just got this cached and we've got two emitters which are both identical apart from one setting. If we have a look in our emitter small, go to the emission tab, we've got half a million particles, zero speed, radius of one, variation of 0.5. Emitter large is identical. The only difference is that we've only got 20,000 particles in this one. And if we make our large active and hit play, you'll see that we've got this in this display mode, we can see that the particles are spinning randomly and both emitters are doing this. And this spin is absolutely fundamental to this technique working because it's the spinning of the particles which will give us some nice glinty reflections of the scene lights uh, using a reflective material. So the way we've got the rotating and the spinning happening is in each emitter, we'll go to extended data tab, We've got use rotation on, we've got rotation set to random, which gives it a random orientation at birth. And then we've got simple spin active with a little bit of spin amount on each axis with variation on each as well. And that is giving us this spinning look. Cool, all right, so let's activate both emitters. We wanna start rendering this. If we just move our camera back a little bit, you'll see in our scene, we have got this redshift camera pointing at our scene and we have these two long thin redshift area lights this has got a little tinge of green this has got a little tinge of red and again have a look in the scene file in the description and you can see how they're set up but however you set up your lights you can animate them you can reposition them you can use hdrs you'll get different glittery looks but we want to render something now in the place of these particles. So how do we do that? Well, we need to create some geometry. So what we'll do is we're going to bring in a platonic primitive. There it is. We want this to be quite small. Let's give it a radius of, say, three centimeters. So that's tiny. If we highlight that platonic and hit O on the keyboard, it'll frame it so we can see it. Great. Let's hit C to make it editable. And then with the, tail, uh, the scale tool selected, we'll just scale it down in the Y to squash it right down. So it's very flat, but we've got some nice bit of angular differences as well in these polygons. Okay, very nice. So now what we can do is instance uh, for every particle from both emitters, we get a platonic. So let's highlight both emitters. We need a tag to do that. So we're going to go to tags, render tags, redshift object tag and here in the particles we're going to uh, select mode and custom objects let's drag in our platonic and that's what we're going to render so now when we render this for every particle there will be one of these platonics very cool let's go to uh, redshift render view and let's dock this here hit render and you're going to see we've got some very kind of over bright particle geometry. So let's sort out the size of these. They're way too big. So we're just going to switch off the small particles. Let's go to our redshift tag. These are too big for our scene. Let's reduce this down. Let's put it on maybe 0.2. Yep, that's starting to look better. Let's just move this camera back a bit. That's kind of the size of our large glints. Okay, that's good. And then let's switch that emitter off and switch on the small. And this one, we want these to be tiny because this is our dusty detail and we've got half a million particles here. So let's make this maybe 0 0.05. Yep. Yeah. So that's much better. Um, and when we make this kind of reflective materials, because not all of it's going to be visible, um, it's going to look much more detailed. Cool. Let's get the first material sorted. We're going to actually use three platonics here with different materials on. So let's hit control, hold it and drag a copy of this platonic. And then let's drag one more. So we've got three platonics. Now we're going to go to our material manager. And let's just stop that rendering. Double click to make a new material put this on the first platonic and this one we're going to make a silver shiny material so in the standard node 
let's go to the color and just put it on white we're going to go to the metalness and put it on full which is one and then we're going to reduce the roughness way down so there's not much roughness so really sharp reflections this is our silver material okay let's hit render and now yeah so we've got this kind of silvery looking um uh, render going on very good uh, let's put our large ones on all right cool so now we want to make some more uh, materials we're going to make a diffuse material now a more diffuse one so let's drag a copy of this oh actually whilst we've got this one let's make our gold so in this copy that we've just made we'll just leave it exactly the same but in the color put a bit of orange something like that giving us a gold look that's going to be our gold one so we'll put this on platonic one very nice and then in our emitter large let's bring platonic one in there as well so we've got a bit of gold and silver in there and then our distribution let's put it on random so each particle gets a random one from those two let's hit render so now we've got some gold glints going on in our material as well very nice and let's go to our emitter small and we're going to have we're not going to put the gold one in the small emitter actually now we're going to make a more diffuse one which will spread out this a little let's copy the gold one this is going to be our diffuse we'll double click and then this one we'll leave it almost the same but we're going to put the roughness way up which spreads that reflection over the object and because it's done that we want to darken it down a bit otherwise it's going to be too light let's click on the color let's bring this really far down a really dark color something like that and this will put on platonic through uh, two uh, point two here and we're going to put this into the small and put that on random and we're also going to put that into the large tag as well so the large is going to have three uh, platonic in there yes that's given us a nice bit of depth right so, so we can see this a bit more easily now let's uh, shut down the material manager let's move this across so just increase the size of that a little okay so now we have got these glittery glinting um, bits of flakes and then as they animate outwards this is starting to look cool and you can see the more reflective ones really shining and when animated these are going to be glittering and glimmering and this is how we get our really nice um, glittery look and um, obviously in a still you don't see this um, glinting and animating um, so we really need to look at it at render time but you could obviously change the color of your materials for different looks you might want a red glitter or different multicolored glitters that's obviously up to you and um, the color of the lights plays a little bit of a, um, a part in this as well so let's just stop that one uh, rendering but you can see that glittering effect working it looks fantastic let's go to our window picture viewer where we've got this rendered out and if we scrub this you'll see that it's glittering before it starts animating and that's because those particles are rotating they're spinning so we're getting that really nice glittering effect and then as they start coming out we get this absolutely fantastic glittery gold look let's just play that in real time so we can appreciate the glistening and that looks excellent and as we come towards the um, part of the sim where they're getting close to the camera because we've got a depth of field effect we've got this bokeh here look you can see look here's the effect of the green light and the red light so we're getting this really nice color variation and that's another color control that you can adjust for your scene and whatever color your lights are but that's looking really nice this glittering explosion or if you play it in reverse obviously we get this glittery festive reveal and that's how we do it but a key is the key thing to remember is you need the spinning of your particles to get this nice animated glittering